Chamat Karsandu reporting for MMA Junkie and USA Today here in London, England at the London Stadium, home of West Ham United. Bellator is in town. Bellator 179 goes down this Friday night at the SSC Arena in Wembley. And I'm joined by AJ McKee. AJ, it's good to see you here. Well, first of all, what have, what have you made of your time here in London so far? Um, I've been to the London Bridge and about four other places that I don't know. But <laughs> hey, I went to the London Bridge. That was awesome, you know. So, uh, man, London's awesome. I like it. The people, everybody's friendly and they love our English accent and I love their English accent. So it's just it's great getting along, you know. Awesome. Now I know you're here with your with your old man, and you're both here helping uh, Baby Slice. And you know, I spoke to to Baby Slice last week, and this means a lot to him because you know a year ago his his father was supposed to headline Bellator's very very first London event, and obviously you know he tragically passed away. What's it been like for you guys just to help? Um, you know, slice, kind of get through this process, get through this camp, and is it more of a mental thing, or are you just trying to help him prepare, get his first win in, the, in pro MMA? Um, I would say it's the preparation, you know. Um, his first fight, he knew what he faced. Um, he knew what he had to do. He went in there and did it. But uh, the result of doing it not to the full potential, and that, that's kind of where he came up short, you know. He was beating the brakes off the dude and then got tired. So um, I feel... That pressure we always had on him, like, hey, you need to go, you need to go, you need to go. Now he understands why we were on him that way, you know. So um, understanding that and then training for this fight, knowing that this was supposed to be the card his father was going to fight on, I feel like that's adding fuel to his fire to just really fire him up and, and go out there and put on a show. And uh, his training camp went great, you know. He, he put in the work. His cardio is there, dropping people at body shots in practice. So, uh He's ready, man. He's, he's ready. He's, he's got one thing to do now, and that's go out there and do his job. Are you almost a little gutted yourself that you're not fighting on this card? Is it a dream of yours to perhaps fight in London one day? Uh, definitely, you know. That, I want to be called Mr. International, you know. They know me for, for going anywhere and everywhere, you know. I, I'm from America. Why well, do I want to fight in America? I want to go see the world, you know. That's always been my dream, and that's been the benefit that I've, I've seen in my dad's career, just being able to travel and, and get to see extraordinary places and just such landmarks and historical places of the world. So uh, it's definitely a benefit. In fact, I'm not training right now. This is my vacation. I'm, I'm loving it. You know, London's awesome. Well, speaking of the international scene, there is a certain Irishman who, uh, who seems to keep going back and forth with you. What's the beef between you and James Gallagher? What's going on right now? Um... It started, man, honestly, it started when he was fighting Anthony, and he he had his little altercation with Anthony, and he walks up to me, and he's like, you're next, pussy. I was like, you're going to regret those words, just like that. So he, I told him he was going to regret those words. Then the reason why I call him Princess Gallagher is he started sliding in my DM like like, like a girl, you know? You're you a little girl, girl sliding DMs. So uh, Princess Princess Gallagher slid in my DM. He's like, you are next, you pussy. So it continued from there. We kept going back and forth. And then that's when the big brother of me started picking on him, just doing this, chastising the little brother. And it kept going from there to he went on national television and called me a pussy. And that's when I was like, oh, like it, it's big brother ass whooping time now. You know, that's just straight disrespect. Because man to man, you know, business, I'm not going to go to do that. Like, man to man, like, I call you a pussy or a bitch. Those are fighting words, you know. As a man, you're going to you're gonna be like, okay, well, let's get it now. You know, like, that line has been drawn and it's been crossed. So, um, it's been crossed and I'm just waiting. Hashtag sign the contract, James. That's I've been saying it. He's, he doesn't know what contract. And I told him, the contract you sign before every fight. Sign the dotted line and I'm going to literally beat the brakes off of him. So... All right, they're telling us to wrap it up. So one final question. Are you hoping that fight takes place this year? And would you be opposed to perhaps fighting Dublin. in Dublin? Yeah. Dublin. I'm whoop his ass in his own town. Make his own people support me, you know? Support a real champion like they support McGregor. So I'm going to whoop his ass and I'm coming for McGregor next.